thank you. Thank you for being up so late for this tonight. My pleasure. Yeah, I always say uh, sleep is for the emotionally well balanced, so not an issue. <laughs> You're all the way over in over in the England place. Mm -hmm. And it's it's very far away, and it's it's what about four thirty in the morning there right now. Four, yeah, that's about yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you filling in. Those you don't know, Tara's on vacation in Las Vegas this week, and she didn't take any of us because she's awful. So Dom of Lost in Adaptation has been very gracious enough to hop in and fill in this week, and um, you're probably going to regret it. Time will tell. Uh, is 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 this? Oh, well, let me get this stuff out the way. Yeah, you you you're probably you probably. The, so how how I I I know you're familiar with the fact that I guess, how familiar are you with with the show and how shit works here? Yeah, no, I'm a big fan, big fan. Yeah, I I I, I know the madness quite intimately. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> Well, I, I I did try to to find a good collection of stuff for you this week. For the uh, just so you guys know, uh, Lost in Adaptation, it's on YouTube. Uh, you can find it on Dom's channel. Just simply search for Lost in Adaptation. Looks at uh, film adaptations of books and what gets done to them along the way, for better or for worse. You you can also just search for the Dom. I am now officially more popular than some forms of BDSM, which I think is quite an achievement. <laughs> that's, that's, that's... <laughs> when you fucked up a search term. <laughs> this I'm looking for Dom. I don't see any leather. What's going on? I'm confused. This, this, there's no chains. I don't like this. What's up? What's yeah, up? A lot of very disappointed subs out there. A lot of very disappointed. Okay, well... Now that we've done that, let me get the intro going here. Yeah, I, I've got, um, oh my, tonight is special. They're, they're all special. I all, every week I'm like, oh God, but this week, I don't, I don't, I, I don't want to give it away because we, we've got some from your neck of the woods too. Well, close to your neck of the woods, but very good. Oh, yay. And we're involved. Yay. That's, that's always fun. I, I will say it's it's probably the best story this week. And by best, I mean, oh, God, oh, God, make it stop. Oh, by the way, I'm very relieved to hear that you are less likely to be destroyed by the vengeful fist of Mother, Mother Nature. Slightly less likely, but it could change. Yeah, we've got a hurricane potentially for next week. That's what it takes for me to get a fucking vacation is a hurricane. <laughs> I can't broadcast if there's no Internet or if the town is gone. You know, swings and roundabouts. Yeah what it takes for me to, to get time off. All right, let's start. Let me roll the intro. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And let's, let's start with some of the social issues of the day. Oh boy, we're stepping on a landmine here. Um. And I'm, I'm going to, just to keep the Skype window clear, I'm going to be sending the links to you on uh, on Twitter, okay? Gotcha. Yeah, it's on your direct messages. Um, So, male birth control. This is this has been a... a, a <laughs> whiplash! Hello! Yeah, that's a bit of a cold opener, but all right, I'll go yeah. with it. This, this has been a, a, a bit of a, a, an issue for ages and ages, is women's, like, we don't want the the onus of birth control could be completely on us. You want the sex, so you do something about it. Well, some guys have come up with a with a, what they think is a good idea to do stuff something about it. Um, I'm already terrified. <laughs> yeah, they they have a, a a lovely idea for how to deal with male birth control. Um. It's called the GIF tip. It's an alternative. For <laughs> that face. That is the perfect face. It's alternative for condoms. Um, the product called GIF tip, GIF tip is being marketed as a contraceptive. It's gained attention on the internet. Its creators claim their product that, uh, that the product is an adhesive that covers the tip of the penis so that couples oh, no. can enjoy real sex. Oh, that is not, you do not want to cork that. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, it is a. It is essentially a little super glue sticker that you put on Mr. Winky, and instead of all the little soldiers escaping, you've glued it shut. Oh dear. I, I kind of just want to show these people a water balloon and <laughs> fill it up until it pops and just, just say, that, gentlemen, that. <laughs> yes, it is. It, everybody, I love the reaction in the channel. Everyone's like, no, God, no. Yeah, it's, it's this. This is the idea they came up with when men were challenged. Okay, what's your idea? Oh, okay. Uh, Blew it shut. <laughs> How did this get all the way through development without a single person with any basic medical <laughs> knowledge getting involved? You would think anyone who had a dick would be going... Excuse me. Um, question. Didn't you previously feature someone who was suggesting gluing vaginas shut as well? Yes! To stop, to stop menstruation. The, 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 the freaking lipstick crap. I just it. Just don't glue your genitalia closed. I don't, I don't think that's a hard concept to wrap your head around. <laughs> Welcome to the twenty first century, where the words "don't glue your genitalia shut" are needed in a conversation. In every other universe, I swear that is a redundant statement, but not this one. <laughs> not this one. Every time, yeah, it's it's. it's I, I've never in any. I haven't even think of in fiction. The idea of gluing your your holes shut has ever been a good thing. Just it. This was the best you could come up with. I I'm fascinated by their legal disclaimer and its wording. Yes, shall not use for pregnancy or prevention purposes. Why why is it worded like a commandment? And in all caps, I'll scroll down so you see it. This is actual words from their legal disclaimer in all caps. Thou shalt not use for pregnancy or STI prevention purposes. So. But the, isn't that literally all it's for in that? Yes. They, call, they are calling it an alternative to condoms. That's how they're marketing it. Except it doesn't actually. They, they, they don't stand behind the idea enough to say that it works. I'm sure you're going to completely avoid every lawsuit possible with that one little disclaimer. You smart, smart people. You covered all the bases. Thou shalt glue your dick closed for nothing, basically. Basically, yeah. Oh, and more. Yeah. America is, is kind of disturbing with our in entire understanding of sex and sexuality because we're not very good at it. And this very this next story is very brief, but but it's uh it's from Nebraska, and it kind of sums up that we don't know very much very well. Um, man masturbates at bus stop to get rid of syphilis. I have questions. <laughs> 69-year-old Ohio man told police he was masturbating at a Lincoln bus stop to get rid of syphilis. Joseph Walcott was arrested for indecent exposure. Caller said he was masturbating at the bus stop. Walcott told police what he was doing was legal because it was for medical reasons. So did he feel it was time-sensitive or location-sensitive? I... Yeah, it's not like, did you have to do it right then? Or is there something about this bus stop? Is this some sort of ancient voodoo technique I'm not familiar with? If you can send your semen away on a long distance journey without you, it takes away the syphilis <laughs> with it. I'm just trying to figure out the bus driver's like, no, no, that, that's individual fare for all of them. Do you have to? It's, <laughs> it's not just one. You, you got to pay. Everybody's got to pay. Not that guy. That one's got a bus pass. The rest of y'all have to pay. I love his picture, too. He's just like, uh, did I do something wrong? <laughs> yes. And I love how he's, like, completely reasonable. He's like, hang on, guys. No, no. This is fine. It's medical reasons. 
How can you arrest me for this? Come on. This has got to be what your 7,000th public masturbation story. <sighs> I don't I, even I, know anymore. I swear, whenever I watch this on your show, I, I have to wonder, it's like, what goes through these people's heads when they wake up that morning? Do they have an inkling at that point that the course of the day is going to lead to public masturbation? I mean, my God, how can anyone even possibly get an erection anywhere near a bus stop? That is one of the least sexy places. Yeah. I don't care where you are in the world. Bus stops, they've got, it's, it's, they're grimy. They sit out in the rain all day. They've got those really, really obnoxious advertising on them. And I don't care how pretty the, the man and or woman in the advertising is. It's still all nasty because there's like this film on the plastic. There's other people all around you. No one wants to be on the bus. No one wants to be on the they have to be on the bus no one wants to be on the bus how could you how can anyone even maintain an erection with all that going on yeah well i guess you got to give him props for that yeah <laughs> i mean it doesn't necessarily he was say he was successfully masturbating he could have just been flipping around a bit you know but uh I, i'm still i'm still not sure how one solves syphilis with jerking off at the bus stop yeah, I, I, I feel that there really should be more information in this. It's like, a very short story. It's like, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the guy who's reporting on this is just like, just let's move on. I don't even want to spend any time on this show. I'm getting on to play advert. Ah, there we go. Cured. They, they didn't even pad out the art. I've seen some of these. They'll just pad out the article. Explain. Normally, they would like be like, this is what syphilis is. This is what masturbation is. This is what this is what a bus is. But no. But, but did no one ask him what his reasoning was here? Just like, how did you get from masturbation to equals no more syphilis? Yeah, this, I, I, even I had sex ed, and I, I kind of understand that just by using your dick does not make the dick disease go away. That's not how that works. If anything, I would have thought a bus station would be where syphilis is acquired, as opposed to just yeah. does. That's, that, that is where the syphilis lives. Uh, all right. Well. <sighs> Actually, you know what? Before we move on, you, you'd probably, sadly enough, be the man to ask for this. Do you know what the prison term sentence is for, for this sort of thing? Have you ever followed up on these people? It's it's normally kind of, um, it's, it's uh, community service. Uh, they get, like, they, no one really goes to like super fucked up prison for the. It's it's mostly jail time, short term. Depending now, the repeat offenders, that's a different story. But it's it's normally like it's a a fine. If it's really bad, it's a, like a month in jail or but nothing really super serious for this. We're just we're kind of I guess it happens so much we're just inured to dicks everywhere, as a society. <laughs> It's just part of the day now. It's just something that happens. You know, you walk down the street, you get your paper, you check the mail. There's a dick. Like you do. Must be Wednesday. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Oh, God damn. Last week we had that story about the guy who cut himself and then blamed it on a black man who attacked him because he was he looked like a Nazi. Mm. Turns out the black man didn't exist. And he had just was bad at using a knife. Well, guess I what? Mean, we, we've got another one this week. No Nazis involved, thankfully. The less I hear about Nazis, the better. But still, again, I fucked up. How do I come out of this? How do I make this better? I don't, I know. I'll blame someone else. Man hits self in head with cinder block, reports false attack. What gymnastics were involved in this accident? <laughs> Wichita Falls man who claimed he was assaulted by another man with a hammer, the one who ended up on jail Wednesday. Frank Stewart Nixon Jr. 
uh, said uh, is charged with family assault, family violence, and giving a false report to a police officer. He's in jail in lieu of a twenty-five hundred dollar bond. Wichita Falls police said officers were called to the intersection of Blanton and McCutcheon at about eleven a.m. Wednesday. Reports of a man being assaulted. When officers arrived. They found a man identified as Nixon sitting on the curb, holding a piece of clothing to his head. Officers noticed there was blood in the material. Nixon told police uh, officers that two men jumped out of a pickup truck and one of them struck him on the head with a hammer. While at the hospitals, uh, what, uh, hospitals. While at the hospital, officers continued to interview Nixon about the incident. He told officers that he and the assailant had previous con- confrontations. He said he and the alleged attacker had been texting back and forth that morning. The man told Nixon he'd put him in the hospital again. Oh no. However, a woman who was with Nixon said Nixon's story was fake. The wound to his head was self-inflicted, the result of Nixon hitting himself in the head with a cinder block. So was this an attempt to frame someone, or was he just really embarrassed? Or why, why not both? It's one of those things where I could honestly see this idiot, and let's, he's an idiot. Hitting himself, doing something with a cinder block, some jackass style, welcome to jackass shit, hitting himself in the head with a cinder block and going, well, I don't have insurance. I can't pay the emergency room for this. Hey, I know. I'll get police to arrest that guy I really don't like, and I'll make him pay for it. I mean, if it worked, two birds, one stone, I guess, but... um. It, 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 did he not realize that there were witnesses just watching him hit himself in the face of the cinder block? I guess he was counting on on the woman who was with him being like, no, this is a perfect idea. Let's go along with this and not being like, no, he's a fucking idiot. So she got mad. She said Nixon got mad that when she said she wouldn't leave with him. So was the, was he acting out because he couldn't pick up a woman? Well. Uh-huh. Seems well, likely. I'm going to smack myself with a single cinder block. That will learn you. Actually, it's one of those things you smack. This is something guys do. They'll be like, I'll hurt myself in a stupid way and women will like me. You know, as long as he hasn't had, doesn't have kids, that could be Darwinism in action, I suppose. <laughs> it is. I, I don't I, I It's not exclusively an American thing. I've been to Manchester. It's. It's not exclusively an American thing. Dudes will do this stupid shit. They'll be like, hey, I'll do this ridiculously stupid stuff. It's kind of like peacocks and the feathers, only with humans, it's stupidity. It's cinder blocks. Right, cinder blocks. The, the, we're, it's, it's, nature's beautiful, man. It's, yeah. it's nature. It's beautiful. <laughs> Except now, he's in jail, not getting laid. I mean, I'll give him this. He didn't make it political, like your last fella. So it's you true. better give him props for that. That's true. Oh, oh boy. Okay, if I'm remembering right, y'all, you don't have Chuck E. Cheese in England. Do you have any equivalent to Chuck E. Cheese over there? I well, Chuck E. Cheese is a child's restaurant. Is that right? Yeah, it's a restaurant in America. We have it's it's pizza, not very good pizza, and a big arcade with stuff like a ball pit and everything. And they have animatronic dancing rodents that sing to you while you eat. I mean, we don't have any that gained, like, national, like, notoriety, but we have, like, the occasional place like that, like, mm. like, called Discovery Zone or small-time places, but they, they very rarely last very long, to be honest. There's not a lot, a lot of market for it. Well, and this is the first time we're not reporting about parents having a brawl in the Chuck E. Cheese. That's, that's, a, that's normally a thing that happens here, but... I, I guess... It's good that they're that it's good that they're reading, but I think they're not really good on the reading comprehension. People are trying to pay library fines with Chuck E. Cheese tokens. <laughs> so the lib that's I honestly I'm on their side with this. The library should be like, well, sweet, free <laughs> macaroni and cheese or whatever foul filthy few feet children over there. <laughs> Now my comment section is going to be filled. Hey, man, I grew up on mac and cheese. That was good stuff. 
You don't, you don't diss mac and cheese, America. It's good. Nah, I mean, you've seen our food, so I realize we don't have the <laughs> moral high ground, but. I know you guys have great Indian takeout. You guys, you do. It's, it's <laughs> awesome. All the countries we've invaded have nice takeout restaurants here now. They do. Uh, a Massachusetts library is reminding residents that Chuck E. Cheese tokens are not acceptable for a payment for overdue book fines. The Body Institute Library in Danvers, Massachusetts posted on Facebook this week the library has a surge of people attempting to pay fines and printing fees with tokens from Chuck E. Cheese. The library said the tokens are not legal tender, cannot be accepted. I love this next bit. Bookkeeper Sue Cantos tells the Salem News she had counted three Chuck E. Cheese tokens one day before realizing they weren't real money. This is either an incredibly stupid bookkeeper or very re money looking tokens. Well, the tokens do kind of look like money. And if you're counting so many quarters and whatnot, I could honestly see somebody just going one, two. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Because you've got, like, all of this change in front of you you have to deal with. And you're like, okay, we'll do this. Wait, is this Canadian? No. I'm pretty sure this mouse wasn't a president at any point. <laughs> Give us 20 years if we last that long. Yes, I suppose a, a Chuck E. Cheese mascot may be an improvement at this point. That would be a write-in. You watch. People are going to write in Chuck E. Cheese for, for president next time. And we're going to have a guy in, in a mouse costume running our nuclear weapons, which, again, I would put faith in the guy with the mouse costume at this point. He seemed like a stable fella compared to the last one. So, yeah, again, I, I don't think this bookkeeper has the, the high ground because she did accept these shit. That's true. This isn't a sort of someone offered it and she declined. It's that she accepted it and now feels a bit stupid. Someone at the library, yes, either that person or someone else during the process of fines being paid did accept Chuck E. Cheese tokens. So, so yeah. yeah. Nobody's like not, saying, not saying we won't accept it. We're just saying, please don't. <laughs> to wonder if there's like this underground, under the table shit going on. It's like, okay, I won't, I won't charge you for the book fine, but me up with some tokens, man. I gotta play ski ball this weekend. I'm like three tickets away from the giant stuffed monkey. Come on, come on. I want to see the weekly fight between parents. Play some bets on it. <laughs> oh God, that's a that's it. I I just now I'm just imagining like six year olds going. I've got four tokens on my dad. <laughs> my dad's packing heat. So <laughs> now I want. Now th I appreciate you helping out this week, and I wanted you to feel at home. So of course. We've got a naked rampage. Ah, okay. <laughs> took it, yeah. Because uh, you, also, you also said something took place in Britain, so it's like a British naked rampage? <laughs> well, first off, let's go to San Francisco. Uh, naked California brothers break into vandalized church. Two brothers from Riverside were arrested on suspicion of burglary and felony vandalism after breaking into an Orange County church Wednesday night. At the time of their arrest, one brother, uh, one brother was completely naked. The other was, quote, partially clothed. According to the police department, 24-year-old Paul Vincent Velkind and 22-year-old Brandon Joseph Velkind broke into the Harvest Orange County church, barricaded themselves inside, and vandalized the building. Security guard and neighbor business, a neighboring business called police after seeing Velkind brothers approach the church church with one of them carrying what appeared to be a rifle. Props to him, if that's what I think it is. <laughs> At best, I would have a small concealed pistol. The brothers smashed a glass door to gain entry of the church where they barricaded themselves inside. According to prosecutors, they vandalized the building and destroyed electrical equipment and musical instruments. Police arrived on the scene and watched a video feed of the suspects uh, from surveillance inside the church. The brothers then threw a smoke bomb as they exited the building, one of them completely naked, the other partially clothed. 
So, so they took off their clothes, but remembered their smoke bomb. <laughs> <coughs> okay, I have never in real life seen the whole ninja smoke bomb shit actually work. It does not work. It the the purpose, just so people understand, the purpose of a smoke bomb is to not make yourself disappear. It is to obscure you so that bullets or thrown knives or any sort of <clears throat> ranged attack is obscured. And they can't get a good shot at you. It's it provides cover. It does not make you invisible. Batman was not a documentary. <clears throat> no, no, you can't just go poof. Boom, I'm gone. It doesn't work that way because they can see you move through the smoke. They just can't see you well enough to shoot you. That's how it works. The rifle that one of the brothers was carrying was actually a air replica airsoft rifle. And I love this part. And police also found four boxes of ammunition that would not have worked with the replica. I feel there's a story here beyond just Naked Rampage. Like, it's not did, did they identify what narcotics these gentlemen were participating in apparently not listen to this the suspect's mother told the orange county register that her sons wanted to meet with the church pastor to discuss possible discrimination by a member of the ministry she added they took their clothes off to quote show their fearlessness Not how I would have got my point across. Um, I'm, I'm also concerned, you know, confused about the the rifle and bullets. Was was that to show their fearlessness as well? It's just like you know, we've got if you all you need to make a gun work is the bullets. The details don't matter. Just get some bullets, and, and the gun will work. Doesn't does even have to be a real gun. It does it? Yeah. It's magic. I and I. Look, looking at their um, their photo there, they don't appear to have clothed them again before they after they arrested them. No, they, they don't. Chucked them in, their, in jail naked. Yes, they did. And they 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 look. Uh, the guys are just like, what? What? What's the big deal? To show your fearless. It's not like I've never had an issue with HR or any sort of organization where I'm like, well, I'm not happy with how things are going. I'm going to set up a meeting, and when I go in there, I'm going to point my dick at them. And that's <laughs> going to clear this whole thing up. You know, hear me out. Is there any, ch <laughs> is there any chance that Phyllisness was the name of his penis? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if he managed to get the erection at the time, kudos. That's 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 some grace under pressure, I should say. Yeah, and mistaken for a rifle at long distance. So yeah, that's <laughs> that is one fearless, fearless man. Well, finally this week, I'm gonna first off, I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna show you this lovely picture of the, of this nice couple. Let me uh, let me send this over to you here. Um, let's just have a look at those. This is a nice elderly couple there. Nice. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. They look yeah. harmless enough. Yes. So, um, so I, I'm just what first impression? What? What do you? Why do you think we're about to talk about them? I I'm desperately hoping not another naked rampage. Um, domestic dispute. I I got nothing. I'm I'm going to destroy your hopes. Oh no. Out of control pensioners fined for hotel rampage. I'm actually a little bit impressed with this story. This story is magical. <clears throat> Robert Fergus, 72, 72, ran naked with a pair of scissors in the public reception of the McDonald Loch Ranach Hotel and smashed a glass pane. His wife, Ruth, 69, threatened to shoot a staff member after reacting badly to the alcohol she consumed earlier. You know, the naked rampage I can forgive, but running with scissors is just irresponsible, <laughs> quite frankly. That is such a bad message to give out to the kids. Like, kids, when you go on a naked rampage, you do not run with scissors. 
That is not the example we like to give. Mr. Fergus from Troon was also ordered to pay the hotel 800 pound compensation to cover the cost of damage from the incident. What did he do? <laughs> what did this old man do? Tear the walls down? The court heard how Mr. Fergus used the scissors to cut communications at the hotel reception and was eventually caught drunk at the wheel of his BMW. Uh, fiscal dispute. Uh, Michael Sweeney saw a guest was woken by banging on his door at 1.45 in the morning, saw Mrs. Fergus, who became abusive in the hallway. After the guest informed reception, Mr. Fergus appeared with no clothes on and began shouting abuse at staff and guests in the foyer. Mr. Sweeney said both were accused of ask acting as if they were out of control. He was observed to have a pair of scissors. Ms. Fergus said, I'm going to get a gun and shoot you. Uh, they saw Mr. Fergus pick up a sign and smash a glass pane in the door with it. Mr. Fergus then ran through the foyer, telling witnesses he would slit and kill them. Wow, Grandad is angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I just, I've shown up at hotels at, two three in the morning I've, I've had bad flight layovers i've had long drives across the country so i've shown up at hotels at odd hours i'm tired i just want a room i just want to go to bed i can just imagine the people in the hotel in waiting in reception to get a room and then suddenly old man naked with scissors screaming death threats <laughs> Can you imagine the reviews this hotel is going to get online? <laughs> like, room was nice, very clean. Naked old Rampage, not the best. Two and a half stars Two at and... most. Honestly, you know, at that time in the morning, if you're there to get a hotel room, a naked guy with scissors, I'd be pretty much just like, so what time's checkout tomorrow? <laughs> I mean... Uh-huh. Probably is not it... going to stick around for breakfast. Yeah, gonna lie. I, I, just, just give me a place. Okay, that's that's nice, Mr. Naked Man. Do, do, is this smoking room or non-smoking? <laughs> uh-huh. You know, because she specifically says she reacted badly to the alcohol, I'm, I, I'm, I'm convinced that this is one of those times where it's these two old people who haven't had a drink in, like, 20 years. So they try, like, a martini for the first time and just lose their shit. In Scotland? Oh, good point. Good point. In Scotland? Not had a drink in 20... Come on, man! In Scotland, but are these are these two Scottish? Yeah, uh, uh, Robert Fergus. Oh yeah, no, fair shout. Yeah, <laughs> so it... no, I'm, yeah, he would have had a beer for breakfast. I'm gonna you? say he's not from Hungary. Uh, <laughs> just a wild guess there. You know, then this is probably just a, again just an average Wednesday for these two. I mean, for Scotland, if you hand somebody a screwdriver, they're like, why is this, why is my vodka got orange juice in it? <laughs> my God, damn. I'm still impressed at 72 to have the wherewithal to, to go a full on Braveheart through the hotel. <laughs> 800 pounds worth of damage. That takes effort. And also, I love that he cut the phone line. <laughs> like, ha, ha, you're not calling the cops on me. You're going to behold my penis in all its glory. By God. Drunk enough to go naked rampage, but quick witted enough to think I've got to I've got to isolate this group before I continue any further. And I love his getaway was he ended up naked behind the wheel of his BMW like. I've got I've got my escape route all figured out. <clears throat> They're never going to find me. Gets lost in the Bonnie Hills of Scotland, never heard of again. Some say and, he's still running naked and angry. And you want to talk? <laughs> you want to talk about relationship goals? You know it's love when you are running naked through a hotel at seventy-two years old with a pair of scissors, and your wife, sixty-nine years old, backs you up by saying, "I'll go get a gun and shoot you, motherfuckers." That is true. That is true. She she sided with him on this. That is. <laughs> We could all be so lucky. That's relationship goals right there. That is love, man. 
I, I'm not going to lie, I probably wouldn't have stuck with the naked rampager. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not that committed. Uh, that, <laughs> bless their heart. So I, I guess I guess the first thing we learned tonight is, you know, it, it, if 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 you're getting a little off having a few drinks, go have a lie down. Don't start smashing up the hotel you're in. That's not going to help the situation. We've learned that um. Naked fearlessness is not a good negotiation tactic. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, it doesn't matter what genitalia you're born with. Don't glue it closed for yes, any reason. No, it does. That's not a good way to solve any biological problem, really. Yep. It will yeah. never be the solution to any problem ever. Yeah, it's OK. If you have new holes that you weren't born with, you can glue those shut. But any holes I mean. that you came with factory standard, don't put glue on those. It's a bad plan. Um, we've learned that Chuck E. Cheese tokens are not legal tender in the United States of America. Honestly surprised. <laughs> I learned a lot today. I'm yeah, glad I like, showed up. It's like, really? Oh. Yeah. I'm glad I learned that before I moved there, because that could have been embarrassing. <laughs> We've learned just because you do something stupid does not mean you can blame it on you, you can blame it on random violence and get away with it. Because normally, if you're stupid enough to do it in the first place, you're not smart enough to carry out the cover up. Let's see what else. Uh... Shout out to the White House on that one. Just something for you guys to keep in mind. Um, Ejaculating on buses not medically necessary. Yeah, it won't help. It's it's not. It's that's not the cure for syphilis. That that is not we we have the one. It's called penicillin. We've had it for the better part of a century now. We've actually had penicillin before we had buses. So, um don't know where you were, but yeah. <laughs> that is that is this We've got to stop gluing our hole shut. This, what, what is happening in the century? I mean, yeah, it, it, it got to the point where they marketed this. Just like no one, no one ever thought, hey, how about we don't glue our dick shut? That's just how, how many people were involved in this? Not one of them thought that. This is the same startup culture that thought the, uh, the four hundred dollar juicer, internet connected juicer that was just squishing the, was a good idea. We 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 peaked as a species, a bit. You know, you keep saying that, but everybody says that quite often. We 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 when something really stupid happens. Oh, I'm 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 just eager to see what next year's fidget spinner is going to be. It's probably going to be something involving genitals. <laughs>